Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Garcia and this is a Project Life Process video. I'm going to be working on my 2019 Project Life album. For those of you who are new, I don't work chronologically. Sometimes I have to use certain products and whatever uh, photos speak to me, that's what I go to. Right now I'm using a kit that I made for myself using stuff from my stash and it has these rounded cards. I also have quite a few that have squares but I decided to go with the rounded corners. I, I really don't mind mixing it. I don't mind that you can see little corners behind those rounded cards. I have a lot. I might as well use them. And I really love the patterns, so I'm going to use the patterns to attach those tags from the Pikachu. And the yellow one is going to be for journaling. And I also really love the filler cards too. The, I, I love the Project Life cards. It's too sad that they're not making them anymore. And I at least I have these. And they're pretty cute. It's a bunch of kits. There's... Lissy, High Five, uh, Kiwi, Co no not Click, there's so many. But yeah, I tried, I have a few that are divided by color and then I have others divided by kit. Both ways kind of work for me. Uh, in this case, I, I went, I looked through the ones divided by colors. That's a great way to be to stick to your mood board or to whatever you're feeling at the moment. And I have other items that I'm going to be uh, having on my kit. I showed the kit on Instagram. You can see it. It's a reel. And I'll put the link below so you can check it out. I, I always like to add alpha stickers for, you know, titles adding a little journaling and stuff like that. Those uh, orange alphas that I use for the word weeks is from Everyday Explorers Co. And they are amazing. They're so good. They come in six colors and I was using orange so I thought that all of these alphas together look really great. And I have like a quirky, busy everything and the kitchen sink sort of style and uh but i enjoyed it you know you i'm doing this for fun and to document my memories yes that's part of it but i also like playing with paper and adding a bunch of things and i i really love simple minimalistic layouts but when i do them <laughs> I go, okay, but I can add a little bit more and maybe this and maybe a little sticker and then it's nothing like my original inspiration. So I also have this little box, which is from Dollar Tree. And if you have seen my Project Life DIY kits, I always use these to keep my embellishments there. And I just got, I, this wasn't like an official kit, I just grabbed a bunch of things that were around, like leftovers from other kits and things that I cut in my silhouette and stuff like that and just added to, to this little box. I also love these super tiny word stickers from pretty little studio i love that collection too i believe it's called sunny memories and uh and i use another one that i forgot the name but i i do love the slightly bigger font but it's still very small so if you're looking out for little word stickers and you're looking for something different like you should check out pretty little studio they have a ton uh for each collection they have at least one usually they have one that's white and then a few colors or a multicolor one so that works out great uh i'm gonna use my super tiny roller date stamp i'm gonna stamp 
the week six um, dates on the left and week seven on the right. In the middle, I'm going to separate them with a little die cut. I do have a bunch of simple shapes like hearts and stars. I have a few in that little corner of the organizer but I also have a bigger container that has a bunch of them and I cut those using my Lawn Fawn Hard dies. I always, I'm gonna have most of the items I use linked below uh, but it's my favorite die. And I've been wanting to get a similar version for stars and I haven't found one that is as good as that one with the hearts but I really really love it and I'm using the Tombow Mono Air touch adhesive which is the newest one it's really good especially if you have arthritis or carpal tunnel you don't have to push it it's it like glides it's so perfect and at that moment I was in a book club remember when we used to go outside and talk to people um, and I love that that month we read The Widow which was so weird it, it wasn't bad it was just strange but not strange that you keep reading I don't know there I feel like there's a good entertaining kind of strange and then the what the heck is this and it's more of the second one and I'm using the current seal stamps from everyday explorers and I'm also gonna use 29 prompts And if you never try everyday explorer stamps, they're amazing. And every month they release new stamps and a new mini bookmakers club kit. So if you're looking for something new to do in the new year, I would check that out. That wash is probably my favorite wash ever. It's very, very old. It's from Freckle Fawn. And I am finishing one roll. It has like so very little and I once uh, bought like a grab bag mystery kid that has the same washi tape and I was so excited because it's one that I use all the time I use it for everything project life December daily cards embellishments everything those star stamps were from Kelly Perky and I'm gonna fill them out with this Tombow twin tone dual tip marker and I kept it very simple because I was the, I was going to add one more thing and I'm like, you already have a lot of colors and stuff and stamping. So it is going to be a busy layout. Usually my layouts are busy. I don't mind. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. But I like it. I, I love colors. I like patterns. I like everything. And, you know, if color makes you happy, why not use it? This was the tag that came in with the Pikachu plushie that we got my daughter. This was the drawing she made in a board that she had. And I'm in the stand currently making again also from the currently seals from Everyday Explorers and I love that stamp set because it works for it's very everyday stamping and those little stickers that I'm gonna be using a lot and I've been using a lot I think they're from American Greetings and I got them at Target at the at the greeting card section I haven't seen them in, in, well I haven't seen them in a long time you could also check the party section um, to see if they have them. I really love them so. And in this one, instead of doing a flip like I did with the other tag, I wanted to use a brad, which is a very old item. I don't have that many anymore. Um, and I kept it super simple with 
a little word sticker. I think that collection is called Daydreams and Tales. It's something like that, but I, I love the colors and that way you can circle it and see other items back when it's like when you look back and there were certain things that were really popular like pokemon was popular when i was a kid because i remember that my little brother had one exactly like like that and he was a big fan so things do come back and it's nice to compare you know how popular they were things like i remember my sister had those ugly dolls they still exist what are their names um not american girl the cabbage patch i'm sorry if you were a fan they're ugly <laughs> but uh and i remember they were like a really big craze so something that comes back in trend like that it's it's really cool and here i just stamp a photo of my girls walking home in a little sticker that has nothing to do with the photo and i have so many photos of my little one sleeping i don't know i mean it's also because she's always like oh i i want to cuddle a little bit before we go to bed and then she falls asleep and we have to like carry her to her bed which is getting difficult because she's eight but i don't know i don't know why i have so many photos of her sleeping but not her sister her sister has always like liked to sleep by herself and she was a really good sleeper and i love that sticker that says sleepy head i think leilani sent me that i do have a few items in this kit that are leftovers from the kit leilani and i swapped which is something i've been wanting to do again but i keep like forgetting i feel like last year kicked my butt quite hard even when i tried and i'm still trying to like pick up the pace it's it's been a weird couple of years but yeah and i kept this card because i was thinking like i'm either gonna use it for journaling or i'm gonna turn it into a filler card so i decided to go with the filler card and this week i think it was the 17 that uh opportunity was declared dead and it was supposed to be a six month mission and it made it like 15 years so that was pretty cool and at first there was this rumor that it said that the robot was saying that the battery was low and uh it was getting dark or something like that but it actually didn't say that but it's still when i heard it i was like oh my god that's that's real sad and creepy because you know robots having feelings and stuff but it didn't say that but i still really love this image that i got from the internet i can't remember where in um i'm just gonna use it on my layout to you know you can use uh, there's lots of people that subscribe to online magazines and newspapers so you can do a screenshot i do love a meme i don't know <laughs> sometimes printing things like an actual news seems kind of sad to me so that's usually my go-to like meme a screenshot something like that and i love those orange alphas they're from studio calico they're very old but i do love their color theory collection and the face stickers i think they're from they're from a project life kit and i just use my silhouette to cut them out and those are an ancient freckle fawn sticker like a sticker sheet I do love that pattern though that it would be cool if they made a roll like that like i need more rolls of washi tape i don't <laughs> by the way
and I also took my daughter to the doctor. I think she had, I don't remember that well, it was 2019, but she either had, she had a cold and then the next week she was at the doctor's too, but she was at the dermatologist because she has vitiligo on her eyebrow. And I love this stamp, the one that says double tap. It's from the mini book makers club, January, 2022 kit. And that stamp set is really cool. But that double tap is my favorite. And I like the book too. I have a um, process video of me making a few pages in on the, on the little book. So if you're interested in that, you can watch it. And here I just want to use one of the 29 prompts to uh, write weekly report. And I always use this dirty cushion that is actually from my Nimi Tangerine stitching kit because I feel like it helps you stamp better. I use my typewriter to write my journaling. With a review of those two weeks and here's the whole thing. First, I thought it was going to be a lot of color, but it's really not that much, especially because I have a black and white photo and two cards that are white. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell that you, way you get notifications of my video. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.